May 4th, 1988. The Sula writes, I prayed part of the Holy Rosary. Maybe I'm not praying it correctly, but I am trying. Then the three prayers the Lord wants us to pray. I'm going to write them down so that everyone knows them. She speaks, Jesus. The Lord answers, I am. Have my peace. It is I, the Lord. Do not fear. The footnote reads, Often I fear that the devil might appear to me instead of Jesus, pretending that he is Jesus. The times he's done it, I discover it rather quickly. Then he flees. Vasula speaks. O Lord, what can I do more? She writes, I want to satisfy God. The Lord speaks. Worship me. Love me. My holy cross at Medjugorje is alive and in flames. I have blessed this territory, giving my graces through my mother, who is the ark of alliance of my divine works. The footnote reads, Medjugorje is a remote village in Yugoslavia, where St Mary appears every day to some teenagers from 1981 to this day. Vasula writes, God has been giving me for the past days a vision of an immense cross on a mountain. This cross was in flames, but not as if it was on fire and was burning. No, the fire was from within it, shaped as a cross, a luminous, non-consuming fire. The Lord speaks. Hear me. In just a short while, I will make the unbeliever's knee bend on that very mountain. My holy cross is alive with a living flame. The footnote reads, I'm wondering if this will be one of the promised signs at Medjugorje. She writes, I asked the Lord, what does the fire represent here? And he told me, life. The Lord speaks, Vasula, the time is imminent, ever so imminent. Oh, come, my beloved ones, come to me. The footnote reads, Jesus suddenly cried out these words from his heart. I am the way, the truth and the life. Come to me now, when there is still time, when the grass is still green and the flowers still blooming on the trees. Oh, come. The footnote reads, Jesus, our Saviour, was begging I love you exceedingly. I have loved you always in spite of your wickedness and your evil doings. Creation, why thrust yourselves so willingly at Satan's feet? Creation, return to me when still the spring breeze is blowing and there is still time for your conversion. Ah, Vasula, the time is almost over. The footnote reads, While Jesus was saying these words, I saw an interior vision, a hot, deadly, poisoned, strong wind blowing on us and nature, leaving in its passage only death. Everything it touched was left dead. What is to come is so very near you. This word which is alive... How could men think that they can bury my word? The footnote reads, Jesus, while saying these words, was amazed. Faith has been distorted to appear like an ugly, crippled beast. The footnote reads, I saw an ugly, deformed, small black animal. The Lord continues, That is how they make it appear. All that is divine and alive today has been distorted in this way and made you flee from it, fearing it. Why is it that you want your God silent and dead? I am alive, and alive I will act. The ecclesiastical authorities will invariably deny you. I had been denied by the Pharisees, 
because they believed they held all the power and authority. They had forgotten that they could not do anything without being given the power and authority from above. And now these sons of Cain's keep forgetting that they cannot do anything unless I give them the power and authority. I am the authority. I am the authority, was and always will be for all eternity. Now, as it is, those that deny my providential works, the footnote reads, these messengers and others, are blinded by their vanity which obscures them. They are those same blind guides who repeat the error, clean and polished from the outside, but all corruption and dead men's bones from the inside. I desire that around your waists you will wear a belt offered by me, which will represent childlike faith that delights me. Yes, let this belt be a symbol. I desire you to be barefooted, be like monks, or I desire you to wear my garments of old. Vasula asks, Which are Lord? The Lord answers, My garments are simple. The footnote reads, Jesus was speaking in metaphors, but I understood his words literally. She speaks, Beloved Lord, they might think we are a sect. The Lord speaks, Ah, Vasula, how little do you understand? Daughter, I will enlighten you and tell you what I mean by wearing my garments of old. I love you for attaining this discernment of today. Never doubt of my love. Remember my presence. Vasula speaks. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. She writes. This here is one of the prayers Jesus recommended us to, to pray daily. The footnote reads. Editor's note. See Appendix A for a fourth prayer that Jesus recommends we say. Fasola writes, Novena of Confidence to the Sacred Heart O Lord Jesus Christ, to your most sacred heart I confide this intention. Here mention your request. Only look upon me, then do what your heart inspires. Let your sacred heart decide. I count on it. I trust in it. I throw myself on its mercy. Lord Jesus, you will not fail me. Sacred heart of Jesus, I trust in thee. Sacred Heart of Jesus, I believe in thy love for me. Sacred Heart of Jesus, thy kingdom come. O Sacred Heart of Jesus, I have asked for many favours, but I earnestly implore this one. Take it, place it in thy Sacred Heart. When the Eternal Father sees it, covered with thy precious blood, he will not refuse it. It will no longer be my prayer, but thine, O Jesus. O Sacred Heart of Jesus, I place my trust in thee. Never let me be confounded. Amen. This is the second prayer Jesus recommends us to pray daily. The Prayer to St. Michael the Archangel St. Michael the Archangel Defend us in the day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, Cast into hell, Satan, and all the other evil spirits 
who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. And this is the third prayer Jesus recommends us to pray, also daily. The Memorare of St. Bernard. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, and sought thy intercession, was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin of virgins, my mother. To thee I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer me. Amen.